Okay, and now we're going to have a presentation by Rafi, which is responsible for urbanizing for Pino, and what they're doing about controlling uh, dogs in the neighborhood. another place that we kind of are really proud of, we're happy to have it. I mean, we find dog waste there too, but it's another one of the projects that we think has been solid going forward. And obviously our biggest success of this year is the Richmond Street Dog Run. Um, Boston Shines was kind enough to make this sort of their token project for the cleanup and they did an amazing job. I think that all the dog owners and not dog owners can agree collectively that the park looks beautiful. Um, we're thrilled at how great the residents take care of it. People are sleeping there every night. And, and then something I just walked by and said in some people one of the concrete parks. Yeah, it just happened a couple nights ago that there was some mail dumped in the park. Um, but so we're really happy with that park, and, and it's been great. And as a dog owners, we want to keep that forward. But you know, we also we don't have a trash <laughs> in that dog park. It, I hate to bring that up; it's a, it's a sore subject, but it seems a little, a little crazy to me <laughs> that we have a dog park and we don't have a trash barrel. And people complain about dog waste and proper disposal, but they won't give us a trash barrel. So and whoever else cares, we would love a trash barrel. Um, <laughs> um, there has been the recent vandalism. It's the first thing that's happened. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer. He had texted me in the morning, and, and we were like, wow, 
So we've had some other stuff with that that was a little less pleasant. But you know, we'll clean it up and start over. Did they take that barrel from the front of the edge and put it across the street? No, there's another oh, barrel that was in there that they took out. There's actually two barrels.
we're going to keep trying to do events with the community. That's like our biggest thing. You know, we do it with the kids. We love that type of stuff. Um, sort of educating the kids that dogs aren't scary, how to approach them, and all that good stuff. Dogs and kids are great together. Um, last year we did the Halloween with them, and the kids judged the doggy costume contest. So that was fun. So we'll plan on doing that again, and hopefully have our authors come back down and do another reading indoors. Um, we just try to hit different times works for parents. So. Um, are you working with the nursing home? My boy, as old as he is, goes in and does visits. Uh, it's a very long process to get certified for the volunteering. So I know that a lot of our members have had a really hard time with that because it's like during the work day where they have to go and do a lot of stuff. But Trot has gone in a few times, arthritic and all, <laughs> visiting around. And it's been, it's really nice. I think dogs are very soothing when it comes to you know, people get a lot of visitors so that is always a nice way and it's great that we have to go close. So. We have other questions? Yeah. Can I just ask you something? Um, I don't have a job so I don't know what the rules and regulations as far as like if me being just a person walking down the street and I see something that's continuously real. Is that something that gets reported to you or the city or you know like, somebody's group that they're going to go you all the time and it's tired and just see it. I'm super happy to pick it up. We've found that it's best if a dog owner approaches another dog owner versus someone who isn't a dog owner. Right. But you see, you can barely even see the person. If I ever saw somebody in the act, I would say something about it. So we, we have um, kind of like a hotline, but we have our own That's people around. Right. People can email us and they do use it. And they report hot spot areas, so we try to target it, that area in our cleanup, or you know we'll make a point to swing by and see if there's a repeat offender. Yeah. Um, I know there's a guy on my street. Every time I see him out, I kind of just remind him, you know, forget this guy's over there. And, uh, and it's easier for us to make a joke out of it, like, yeah. oh, you know, I understand the area of my street from Fulton to Commercial. We sort of tend to go in there because it's not on the screen. Yeah. You know, like with yes. a situation like yeah. that, like we would come to the area and do a cleanup and put a sign there, like yeah. one of our little That's signs. It's kind of like, hey, we were here that cleaning up. And yeah. Not that the sign always makes a difference, but sometimes when they see it, they might think twice, like, oh, That's maybe right. someone is watching right. me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we so highly we encourage, yeah, give us an email, give us a call, stop us in the street. Hey, we're never <laughs> sorry because. I think because of all of that kind of feedback, we're able to go to areas and make things a little better. Like the ball fields, my gosh, we got so much on that. And, and I think that it's improved at, at, at the very So. I've heard that it is against city regulations to put broad waste into public trash barrels. Uh, and if that's the case, and maybe it's because of the issue that that don't raise the blood diseases workers coming into contact with the material. Have you considered private rough own or rough contracted uh, special principles, maybe a dozen of them across the North End, that would be for dog waste only and would be picked up by a private Caller that you would contract with possibly the recycler that you mentioned there. Um, and of course, you'd have to work with parks in terms of places. I know that would cost money, but that might be a nice little pilot study in terms of raising money to understand whether ultimately you can raise money for a dog park. I think it's funny actually, it is technically illegal to put dog waste. No, 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 no. no. The, 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 no the consideration a, is, have you considered special dog waste for So my point is, is that, yes, it's illegal to put dog waste and human waste into the waste basket. We haven't considered pilot waste baskets, but for an official dog park, we have written to a few different businesses that use barrels that, are, that turn the waste into 
power that would lay a park, um, but that comes with getting a dog park and getting some a little bit more established in Richmond. So it is on our radar, but no, we haven't considered mini pods around. <coughs> Any other questions? Yes. yes, I just want to be aware of even though baseball season has ended, our soccer season through NAA will be starting up September 22nd and we're going to be 21st and we're going to be using the ball field again. So. I just want anybody to know every single one of my newsletters that I send out has a double star at the bottom about the ball field this year round. Every meeting we have, I reiterate it. I mean, I'm like a broken record with the ball field. So I'm on your team, I promise. <laughs> I'm down there. I will. If I see anyone, they won't be there five minutes later. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all the work you've done. It's huge. It's a lot of work. I appreciate that. You may have noticed that I didn't announce the Good Neighbor Award for September at the beginning of the meeting. Uh, I'm going to announce it now. For their neighborhood cleanups, the winner is rough. Uh,